For this time around, we are going to be sharing the general overview of what prepayment is and what Agora is for expenses and what for income account. So we are going to start with what expenses account for better understanding. So this is what an expenses account and this is what to look like. We will treat both prepayment and accrual in the expenses account, prepayment and accrual in income account. So for expenses, like I said, accrued expenses means what? In our previous video, I discussed what accrued expenses is and what accrued income is, as well as I discussed what prepayment is. So accrued expenses, like I said, it is a what? A liability. I said accrued also means what? Owing or outstanding. Therefore, accrued Expenses, we only have the credit banner because it is a liability. But down or go forward. We pay the expenses is an asset. Why? Because it is made in advance. Therefore, it is expected to generate the what? A return back that is in form of the benefit. Because it is paid in advance, there was an asset, so it will be on the what? Debit side. We paid. Prepaid expenses brought forward. So this is the opening banner for what? Expenses account. What is next is what the cash received. Payment. When you make the payment from the um, cash book, it's on the credit side, right? Therefore, the corresponding debit entry will be here on the debit side of the expenses. So here is what cash received. So we, have, we also have a closing banner for both accrued expenses and prepaid expenses. The closing balance for accrued expenses carried out will be on the debit side because of we are going to be carrying, carrying it down to the next period, which is going to be what? On the credit side. So here we go. Accrued expenses carried down are prepaid expenses carried down if you note something is missing here right but we'll get to that so let us close both accounts Alright, so once you sum up the total on the debit side and we sum up the total on the credit side, the difference is what we are going to be taking towards our statement of profit or loss account, which is represented by what? B slash L. So the corresponding entry here is what is going to be recorded in the statement of profit or loss account. Therefore, this is everything that you need to know on what expenses account. So therefore you, you bring this down here to what to our next accounting period, which is what? Prepaid expenses bought down. Accrued expenses bought down. Remember this is going. This is going to what current assets going to be recorded in the current assets. The corresponding entry. While this is going to be recorded in what current liability of the statement of what financial position, formerly known as balance sheet. So now we move to what income account. For the income account, we also discussing the what the prepayment or the accrual and what. Prepayment together. So you can, this is a form of summary of what we have done in our previous class. Your NERA sign is very important. The name of the enterprise is very important because without it, your mark is going to be cut short and you don't want that for yourself. So our crude income is what? 
Our crude uniform is what? It is a what? An asset, a current asset to present. Why? Because we are still going to be paid in the future. It's like a uh, future return. So you get. Therefore, it is an asset. So, we have this accrued income. But for representative direct, then prepaid income, also known as what? Income received in advance. Is what? It is a liability. Why? Because you have received the payment, but you have yet to perform your duties to the customer. Therefore, it becomes a liability to you. No liability is an obligation made to me on behalf of the business, the outsider. So, this is a prepaid, prepaid God, income God for. Then, where is our cash received going to be? In our cash book, when you receive cash or you come from a certain customer, it's going to be recorded in the, in the debit side. So the corresponding entry is going to be there on the credit side of what? Income account. Therefore, our cash received is going to be there on our credit side. Then our Accrued income and prepaid income carry the closing balance for our accrued income and prepaid income will be recorded respectively. Our prepaid income carry down is going to be here. Our accrued income carry down is going to be here. Then we cannot find the total. Fine. This vacant space here is what is where we are going to be recording our um, profit or loss account. So once we sum this up, we get our figure, then you sum this thing up, we get our figure. So the difference between both of them is what we are going to be recording, recording in our income account. So this represents our statement of profit or loss. Therefore, the, remember, in our statement of profit or loss, income will always have the most credit balance. So this is going to the credit side of the statement of profit or loss account. So that's that about our income. Then you bring it down, which is what our accrued income goes down. Then our prepaid income bought down. An asset, don't forget, a liability. Remember, assets always have the debit balance, I wish always have the credit balance. Same goes there too. Our prepaid expenses is what? An asset, and our food expenses is what? Liability. It's like switching it to so get So from having this to be easier for you to break this. So you can just try to understand the principles behind it. So that's all that I'm going to do for today. Can you like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell? See you in our next class. Thank you.